All right, guys, welcome to episode four, part three. We're almost done. Appreciate you guys sticking through it. Today, we're going to talk about replication. Replication. And we're going to talk about strawberries and slime molds. And I know you're thinking, strawberries and what? Bear with me. All will be made clear. All right? So one of the things that all living things do is they reproduce. And so even though you're just starting in your group, I know you're, you're just like getting to know everybody. You might not know everybody's names yet. You're still kind of thrashing out who's even in the group. That's normal. Um, but at some point, all living, th all living, growing, healthy things reproduce. And so at some point, your group is going to give birth or some sort of way uh, is going to replicate. It's going to create a new group. And so that's, that's normal and healthy, hypothetically. But the problem is, it's really, it's really easy to do this in an unhealthy way. So what I was taught when I was learning small groups 20 years ago, you know, back when I was four, um, was I was taught this model like this, and it went like this. You say, well, there's this group right here, and it's maybe eight to 10 people, right? And this is where you are right now. And then what's gonna happen is over time, the group's gonna grow, and then eventually you're just gonna keep adding people to the group, and eventually it's gonna get to be like, you know, 16 to 20 people. And at that time, you need to be thinking, oh, we're gonna replicate this. We're gonna split it up, right? And we're gonna start two new groups that can both start groups, and it'll be awesome. We'll take over the world. And so what's gonna happen is like, for those of you that remember your high school biology class, right? We're going to go through mitosis. So we're going to, you know, we're going to get a new nucleus and we're going to split this thing. And so then what's going to happen is we're going to have this group over here is going to be like 8 to 10 people. And then we're going to have another group of 8 to 10 people. And then, you know, maybe two or three years later, they'll both split and then they'll both do the same thing. And it's going to be awesome. And we're going to have all these groups. And it's just going to be incredible, right? Well, here's the thing. This almost never works. This is actually when it does happen, it's almost always traumatic and painful and it just doesn't work this way. It never looks as good in real life as it does on paper. And let me tell you why. It all comes down to the fact that cells can split this way because the nucleus makes a perfect copy of itself. But leaders, even great leaders, even leaders that are really intentional about investing in somebody and making, you know, bringing along the next generation, even they can't make a perfect copy of themselves. It, there's, always, there's always some difference there. So a lot of times what happens is you get a group, let's say Joe is leading a group with 16, 20 people, and it's like, man, this is awesome. And Joe says, we want to break this thing up. We want to, we want to expand. We want to be able to invite people to it. We want to have space. I don't just don't have any more space in my, in my living room or whatever it is. And so let's say Joe's just a really great leader, right? Because otherwise, who's going to show up? And so what happens is Joe uh, says, okay, well, I'm going to start this group, and, and Sam, you start this other group. So Sam's group's over here. Well, the problem is people didn't join Sam's group. They joined Joe's group. And so what happens is there's still this idea that this is the real group, and this is kind of the fake copy. So the way it goes is that most of these people are still trying to get in over here. And so three or four of them are like, oh, I can't meet on that night, or oh, that night, that part of town doesn't work for me. Oh, I really want to be in with so-and-so. And so... This group ends up with like 14 people, and then this group is discouraged and they stop meeting. <laughs> and so th this kind of like mitosis type thing is a really great way to take your group from 20 people to like 12, 15, to 15 down to 14 or something. Like it just, it just doesn't usually work the way people think it's going to work. And that actually makes sense when you think about it because this is a way that cells reproduce, but as far as organisms go, this is not the way healthy organisms reproduce, right? If I said, oh, um, you're going to have a baby. We're going to cut off your arm and plant it in the ground. It's going to grow. Like, that would be super creepy. That's like a pet cemetery type thing. So um, the only kind of organisms that reproduce this way are slime molds. And I'm just going to go out on a limb and say the body of Christ is not a slime mold, all right? This is not the way normal, healthy, um, complex organisms, organisms reproduce. The way, actually, we reproduce that feels pretty normal has a lot less to do with slime molds and a lot more to do with strawberries. Now, show of hands, who's, uh, who's planted strawberries before? Oh, yeah, okay, no. Uh, so who's, who's planted strawberries before? The way strawberries work is like this. If you, if you decided, I want to grow strawberries in my backyard, what you would do is you'd put together a planter, right? Raised bed, it's easier, fill it up with dirt. And you would go in and you would plant a strawberry, like right here, right here, right here, and right here. And then you'd say, okay, great, love it, glad that that's there. You come back next year and you got strawberries all over this thing, man. 
And you think, where did all these things come from? Like, did somebody come through and cut them up and replant? It's not the way it works. A strawberry plant, a single strawberry plant, sends out something called a stolen. Let me put it this way. S-T-O-L-O-N. And um, that's actually the same root word in Greek. It's not, it has nothing to do with stealing, all right? It's the same Greek word, uh, the Greek root, as apostle. In Greek, a, an apostle is apostolon, right? Stolen, a stolen in uh, a strawberry plant is a runner that is sent out. And so the way a strawberry plant reproduces is it's here, it's got a home base, and it doesn't really, it's not sentient, right? It doesn't have a mind, hopefully, as far as we can tell. But uh, it sends out, it says, man, I wish there was a strawberry plant over there. And so it sends out a little runner, and the runner starts a new little strawberry plant. And it sends another one over here, and it sends another one over here, and this one does the same thing. And so, oh, there's a spot over there we'll go, and hey, we'll go up here. And then what happens is all these things fill out, and then they grow to full-size strawberry plants, and they all send out runners until this whole stinking box is full of strawberry plants, and you can't actually tell which one was the one that started it out. There's no way to know which one, where'd they all come from? So what this is, is actually a missionary strategy. This is actually the way the church has reproduced for 2,000 years, right? And it doesn't involve splitting it up and, uh, and separating it out. Well, instead, what happens is, um, and this is just kind of probably going to be a normal thing. You'll see this, I think, in your group at some point. If your group is going well, what's going to happen is somebody in your group is going to say, like, you know, I really love this group. I really love being a part of it. But I got these neighbors that I really want to, I wish they could be in a group with us, and we don't really have room here. Right? I got these friends we serve together. I got this person I work with uh, on Monday through Friday. I really would love for them to be in a group, right? And they get this missionary mindset. Well, what, ha what happens for us as a group when somebody does that? We don't want to kick them out and say, well, you're no longer part of our group. Get out of here. No, we say, okay, you know, you're, you're still with us. We still love you. We support you. Um, you might be on kind of a longer orbit, right? So instead of meeting with us all the time, if you're going to go start a group, maybe you do something else. But, but in st so if you have, let's say you're running 15 people in your group, then you need to think in terms of like, what if we sent two or three people out kind of as missionary church planters, group planters, to go start a new group and build it up, right? That is how groups tend to reproduce. Not split it 50-50 and off they go, but healthy groups send out missionaries to start new things. They send out apostles, right? They send out stolens. So that's the way I want you to think about, uh, think about replication in your group. You don't have to do anything about it right now, but just be aware that that's coming down the pike. So think in terms of being a strawberry, not a slime mold, all right? I'll see you guys next time.